Hello everyone, welcome back, Severtus here, coming back with part 3 of What if Deku was Mr. Negative? Now, where we last left off, Izuku, or Mr. Negative, has gone into the underground and start building his army out of the inner demons after getting two new recruits into his, you know, into his team, which is Ben, and of course, the other one, Shinra, the Devil Footprints guy. <clears throat> As you know, Izuku or Mr. Negative, his negative self, has made some army and everything. Izuku, while that happening, he doesn't even know that he's doing those those things. But sometimes he just gets a weird dreams like seeing himself torturing th someone, telling him that if he ever tried to steal him, that what will gonna happen to him and blah blah blah, things like that. Izuku has gone into the entrance exam because he still wants to be a hero. All Might getting suspicious of him seeing there's some, you know, abilities of him are out of its place like his healing touch. As after that, Izuku destroyed the zero pointer after hearing someone, you know, screaming for help. As Izuku helped that guy stand up and he asked about his name. And the kid looking like this and he called himself O'Neill. As O'Neill thanks Izuku for what he did and told him how about we go and drink something for as a thank you. Izuku help other student healing and after that he just gone with O'Neill out of the place. As we continue after that, Izuku walking with O'Neill as you know Izuku said so O'Neill uh, why do you want to be a hero? As O'Neill said well I want to be a hero because I'm really a fan of heroes. I love seeing them help people and save everyone and I want to do the same I want to be someone that can help the people but what do you want uh, to be why do you want to be a hero Izuku as Izuku said oh me I want to be a hero the number one hero so I can protect people with a smile on my face as O'Neill said <laughs> that beautiful well what kind of drink do you love I love you know grape juice as Izuku said <laughs> That obvious, as you know, O'Neill said. What is it? A, it is it because my you know eyes are purple? You mean that obvious? As Izuku said, yeah. I mean, you're kind of from the purple kind of person. I really don't what know what that means, but I just thought that you love you know grape juice. As O'Neill said, well, I'm gonna get you something. What do you want? Izuku said, um, coffee would be good. As O'Neill said, alright. After that, O'Neill got some coffee for Izuku and some grape juice for him. As they just walk in and talking. In the end, O'Neill and Izuku seeing someone stealing a store. As Izuku getting ready to go there, but O'Neill said, no, please leave this to me. As O'Neill gave the, you know, grape juice to Izuku and started going, you know, there. Seeing three goons, you know, trying to steal, uh, the store as O'Neill got into the store while Izuku's just watching from outside as the guy said give me your money idiot as the guy said please I really don't have anything as O'Neill said how about you leave that guy and get out of here before I kick your asses as you know the the per the first person which is the leader said oh and who are you kids some sort of hero well not yet I'm you can say that I am has already taken my entrance exam. Maybe after one week I will gonna finally, you know, join you A. As the guy said, well, if you will gonna become a hero, then I should kill you right now. As after that, the guy, you know, the other two people surround, you know, O'Neill from behind as he said, three against one, this is not really fair, you know. As the guy said, and we really don't care. As the first person throwing a punch at O'Neill face, which make O'Neill fall, fall on the ground. And after that, the two others saying, <laughs> you're trying to become a hero while well, you are so weak. As O'Neill tried to stand up, but the, you know, the second person kick him in his stomach, making O'Neill fall, fall on the ground. As Izuku wall, you know, uh, was about to go in and start fighting, but O'Neill just looking at him from the glass, smiling, as Izuku seeing in his mind, what the, why is he smiling? And after that, they start kicking O'Neill in his stomach while he's on the ground. After that, a couple of, you know, seconds, the leader got hold of O'Neill, you know, lifting, lifting him up in the air. 
as O'Neill right now having, you know, some blood out of his mouth and said, <laughs> you really are an idiot coming here and you doesn't even a wasn't able to put a, a fucking finger on us. What an idiot you are as O'Neill right now having some blood out of his face, you know, from his mouth. The guy seeing that blood is not red, but actually black. As, you know, the guy said, what the... And O'Neill smiling, saying, <laughs> I was just need a couple of hits, so... <laughs> some of my blood come out. And after that, he spit the, the blood on the guy face. The guy throwing O'Neill away and starts, you know, swabbing the blood away. As he said, what, what the fuck is this? And after that, O'Neill said, attack them. As the guy immediately using his quirk, which is... You know, metal fist. He can uh, turn his fist into a metal shape as he throw a punch on the first one and after that the you know the third one said what the boss what are you doing as o'neill said knock them off as the guy immediately knocked the other one off and o'neill after that he said dance like a chicken as the guy start dancing like a chicken and doing some michael jackson moves while o'neill is just recording this on his phone and after that he said all right go to sleep for an hour as the guy just fall on the ground and start sleeping. O'Neill taking like something, you know. He swapped the blood away from his face as Izuku come into the store saying, What the hell was that right now? As O'Neill said, Well, you just saw my quirk. As <clears throat> before I tell you about O'Neill quirk, you need to know something. If I'm gonna from now on, if I'm gonna do something like a villainous quirk, I will gonna do like a, a sadistic voice. While when I'm gonna talk, you know, gonna <coughs> gonna talk on a, a you know a heroic quirk or a, a normal quirk, I'm gonna use the normal voice of, you know, present Mike. It's not really important, but I just want to do it. <coughs> Name O'Neill quirk corrupted blood. He can control anyone that he spits some of of his blood on him. He can control up into. 85 person at the same time and his uh, corrupted blood can control them for about five you know one hour the side effect of his quirk being unable to take his blood out only by harming himself cut himself a little bit or throwing some blood out of his mouth he can also use the quirk of the person that he corrupt with his blood use it by himself <clears throat> And this is, is O'Neill quirk. If you didn't understand it, I'm gonna explain it later. But basically, he can control anyone that he spits his black blood on. The person will gonna be, you know, controlled for one hour. O'Neill will be able to use the person quirk. Use it by himself, not just forcing the guy to use his quirk. Because some of his blood inside this that guy. And he can control up into 85 person at the same time. But he will gonna need more, fo you know, to focus more on them if he will gonna, you know, corrupt like 85 person. And also, his quirk are effective on machines, like robots. He can corrupt robots and control them, and also corrupt computers to hack into them. So, that's his quirk, corrupted blood. <laughs> As Izuku said, wow, that's actually kinda cool quirk. As O'Neill said, yeah, I know, but... It's not really great when you have to stab yourself rapidly to make the blood come out of your body. As Izuku said, eh, now you are making me feel weird. Well, let's get out of here. And after that, O'Neill and Izuku get out of the store as... <laughs> after that, Izuku starts walking with O'Neill. O'Neill talking with him a little bit. Izuku telling him that he need to go as Izuku just leave O'Neill to go back into his house. After that, Izuku just go back into his house as when he come into the house, he said, Mom, I'm home, as Inko said, Izuku, why didn't you tell me you have a, a wolf as a pet? As Izuku said, what? And after that, Izuku looking, you know, and the, <clears throat> on the couch, he see his black wolf just, lay, you know, laying down. And when he saw Izuku, he immediately jump at him, but, you know, throwing him on the ground and start licking his face as he said <laughs> stop stop all right all right uh, first of all how did you find the place as the wolf is just barking his face Inko said when did you have a, like a a wolf as a pet Izuku as Izuku said 
Yeah, mom. I I'm sorry. I just healed him in the forest and he... I didn't know that he was gonna come here. As Inku said... Alright. As Izuku said, can I keep him? As Inku said, you, really, you know that you just can't keep a wolf in your house. As Izuku said, I'm gonna take care of him. And he also can understand human how they talk. For some weird reason, I really don't know how. But he just can't under understand me. Like, <clears throat> uh, hear this. I want you to open the fridge, alright? As negative or, you know, minus. Go on the fridge and open it up with his, you know, mouth. As Inko said, he's actually can understand you. As Izuku said, yeah. He and he's so good at following orders. So what do you say? As Inko said, all right, but he will gonna sleep in your room. As Izuku said, thank you, mom. And after that, Izuku eating, you know, his uh, dinner with, <clears throat> of course, his wolf. Which is, uh... I'm gonna, you know, change his name. Minus is not is really not my style. I really doesn't like it. I'm just gonna call him uh, <clears throat> what? Let's just say Black. Yes, Black for now. As Izuku, you know, sleeping while Black is just on his bed, sleeping on, you know, sleeping by the side of him, or not really the side. You know how cats normally jump on the beds and things like that. Or just sleeping on the ground. Let's just say, say he's sleeping on the ground, alright? As after that, Izuku in the middle of the night transform into his negative form without his will. As the negative Izuku taking his suit out of the, you know, the closet. And after that, he was about to jump out of the window. But before that happened, the wolf or, you know, black wake up as negative seeing him. He said, hmm, so black, are you coming with me? As black bark and after that he turned white for some weird reason as you know negative said <laughs> good come on little boy let's go and after that Izuku and his wolf which is white I'm gonna you know and his corrupted in his you know the wolf for some reason got some powers of Izuku and you know I'm gonna explain everything later, but right now, the wolf turned from black into white, alright? And I'm gonna call him right now White. I know this, I'm very bad at names, but just go with me, roll with me in the in my little ball. I I feel weird right now, why did I say that? <coughs> Anyways, we continue. Heizuku going into his hideout, and uh, you know, with his uh, wolf White, as he seeing in the hideout, Shinra and and Ben just fighting inside the arena as and seeing the other couple of uh, you know the inner demons are just preparing their weapons and everything as Izuku said is everything ready Ben has been you know looking like this as he said yeah boss everything ready for the attack when when did you want when do you want to start the attack just say and just say the word and we will gonna do it. As Shinra said, Yo boss, when did you got a white wolf? He's looking freaking cool. As he go to, you know, to touch the wolf, the wolf immediately, you know, was about to bite his arm. And after that, Shinra said, eh, bad dog. As the wolf started, you know, you know how wolf when they get angry and they start doing something like, or something like that. The wolf doing that as Shinra just doing the same thing to him. As Izuku said, damn it. Alright Ben, tell everyone to get ready because we need to go and attack the place right now. And after that, the inner demons, which is are basically, you know, some goons of Izuku, they are not important. They just have some weapons that filled with Izuku power, swords and, th and, and things like that. And wearing the demons, you know, faces. Everyone getting ready as Izuku just start walking with them. After that, he finally got into an abandoned warehouse as he opened, you know, Ben opened the door for him as Izuku come in while his, you know, hands behind his back and his wolf walking with him. As he see inside the building, <clears throat> someone sitting on a, you know, on a, a couch and in front of him a table and another couch and behind of him are a couple of you know are a couple of uh, his goons 
or you know his own ga his own gang as Izuku come closer and after that he sit on the you know in front of the guy in front of the cut <coughs> in front of the guy on the on the couch putting leg on another you know crossing his leg together and his wolf is just sitting on the ground as he starts you know petting the wolf on his head as the guy's looking like this as uh, you know Izuku said so black mask what do you want as black mask said well I'm happy that you f was able to come here in time mr. negative I wanted to talk with you about our relationship in the under in the underground as Izuku said I told you that I'm not interested in any of your missions I'm trying to build an army here and I will not gonna join your own organization as you know black mask said but you know if you if we work together we can control the underground so easily we could even take down all for one but we will not be able to do that if we will just gonna attack ourselves if you will just gonna fight against each other you know that I attacked you sometimes before and you attacked me sometimes before both of us has lost something but I think it's time for us to put our hatred on the side and open a new page what do you say about this mr. negative as you know negative said you know very well that I can feel the negative emotions right and I'm smelling from you something that I really don't like I smell the smell of betrayed of betrayer I smell someone is ready is planning something for me so I think that I'm gonna refuse your offer as you know black mask said well so too bad I was wishing for us to work together but if that will gonna be in this way as he taking his gun out and point it on Izuku head as the other you know people behind of him point their guns on Izuku Ben starts using his quirk making his body and muscles much more bigger Shinra starting activating his fires in his feet some other goons of Izuku you know inner demons start you know to prepare to attack as he you know black mask said I think that I should kill you as Izuku just after that he just lean further into you know lean into further in front of him and take a glass of alcohol and as he just drink it and after that he starts shaking you know the glass in his hand said you know what uh, mr. black mask they say there is a difference between a king and a horse the king is strong the king is the one that t taking lead he is the one that taking control over the little goons of him the warriors the knights while the horse is the one that carrying on the king he's the one that just taking him everywhere that to uh, lead him into wars and everything like that now i want you to tell and <clears throat> i want you to tell me what do you think is the difference between those two people those two creatures what this what is the thing that may make it make the king different than the horse as Izuku just take the bottle of alcohol and you know put uh, some uh, in th in the glass and drink more as he said is there <clears throat> do you have an answer mr. black mask as black mask said <clears> hmm <throat> you're talking too big for a kid in your age and you really don't know what kind of dangerous si si situation you are in right now and after that another person come into the scene as it's one of you know people that have quirks and his quirk is actually lava manipulation as he starts you know his hands start to melt as Izuku said hmm interesting but you didn't answer my question so black mask do you finally found out what is the answer what is the thing what is the thing that stand between a horse and its king 
As Black Mask said, I really don't know. I wish that you were gonna tell me. As Izuku drinking more alcohol or, you know, some, <laughs> you know, something. As he said, it's instincts. In order for an identical being to be more strong and, and gain more power, he need to develop a killer instinct. Killer instinct. He need to... He need to live to f murder, to, you know, to brutally kill and slice and murder his enemies. And that killer, killer instinct is mostly gaining power in battles when the person finally gets so weak and stand between life and death. That's what the, the that's the thing that stand between that make the difference between a king and its horse, a horse that is have a, a killer instinct that's stronger than the king. He will not gonna just sit down and put the king on his back and just lead him into battle, while he can take control. A king that is weak and doesn't have a killer instinct, he's just too weak to even for the horse to carry him. Just look at you right now, Mr. Black Mask. You holding a gun on my head. And I am right now doesn't hold anything other than this, this little glass and this alcohol bottle. And you pointing all your guns at me. But I'm not even flinching. Why do you think that? Because I have a killer instinct. I doesn't care if my sword will gonna break. What will it gonna happen to you if your gun just suddenly, I don't know, suddenly discovered that it doesn't have any bullets? As, you know, Black Mask has had enough and press the button, you know, press the button of his, you know, press the trigger. As when he tried to shoot, he tried it again, but his gun is without any bullets, as Black Mask said. What? And after that, Izuku said, what will you gonna do if you're gun without a bullets? Are you gonna give up? Are you just gonna stop attacking? Just look at yourself. You doesn't have any killer instinct. And that what make you a horse. And the same thing is what make me I am a king. As Izuku stand up and, and uh, fill the little glass in his hand with his you know, negative power, and after that, he throw it on the side of the wall. As it bounced off into the three, you know, into a couple of uh, the goons of uh, Mr. Negative. As, not Mr. Negative, I mean Black Mask. As immediately, the glass just go right through the couple of, uh, you know, Black Mask goons, killing them instantly. After that, the lava guy tried to throw lava at Izuku, but... Shinra immediately go at him and kick him in his face and after that he just pushing his head further into the ground use, using the pressure you know the pressure of his leg and the other inner demons putting a shield in front of Izuku to put you know to protect him while he's just sitting down still drinking alcohol after that <clears throat> Ben start going through the goons of Mr you know black mask killing them Crushing their heads and smashing, you know, their skulls using the gloves that Izuku gave him. Every time that he throw a punch is like an explosion of uh, negative power. After that, Black Mask tried to run away, but the wolf, uh, Izuku wolf, stand in front of him and, you know, telling him, like, uh, telling him to go sit down back on the, you know, on the couch, as after when everyone is just dead, no one has left that place. Black Mask is sitting on the on the couch in front of Izuku that right now having some people protect him with the with their shields. As after that, Izuku said, "You can stop right now." As the inner demons leave Izuku, and Black Mask seeing Izuku still having a glass of alcohol in his hand and still having his legs crossed together as Izuku taking another you know cope you know cup of uh, you know alcohol and said well tell me Mr. Bla Black Mask are you gonna give up as Black Mask said screw you as Izuku said that's what I thought and after that Izuku put the glass on the table 
and stand up and take a gun out of his, you know, jacket, as he said. And he last towards, as Black Mask said, I, but Izuku has already shot the gun on his head and said, creature that doesn't, a creature that doesn't have a strong killer instinct doesn't deserve to have a last words, as he just put the gun back in his, you know, jacket. After that, you know, the wolf just come into Izuku's side, Izuku put it on his head, as, you know, Mr. Negative said, well, everyone, let's get out of here. And after that, Izuku and the other inner demons and his team just leave the place. And that has done. Izuku come back into his house in the night as he wake up in the morning. Izuku waking up from the sleep and after that he said, ah, Good morning, Black. As Black, you know, b bark at Izuku. And if you're wondering, Black is actually knowing what he's doing. He's, he's not like an Izuku, an idiot that he doesn't know what he's doing in the night. Black is actually, you know, with Izuku. With Izuku, ne Mr. Negative, and with Izuku too. He's, you know, just helping him in any way. He's helping him if he was a villain or a hero. He doesn't care. He's just want to stay with the person that saved his life. Has Izuku petting it on his head. Natural that said, well, let's go. As Izuku starts to walk in with, you know, uh, Black out of the room, eating his breakfast, and starts going into UA. As Black is just walking with him, Izuku said, you know, that is really not good for you to go with me. As Black is just not caring, he continued walking with Izuku. Izuku just got into you, A, as a lot of people having their eyes on Izuku, seeing him just walking with a, a black wolf by the side of him, as <clears throat> some people <laughs> try talking, saying, what's wrong with that kid having, a, you know, a wolf walking with him, as Izuku really doesn't know what to do. As he hear a sound from behind saying, yo, yeah, hey, Izuku, as Izuku looking behind, he see O'Neill, as Izuku said, oh, O'Neill, hey, as O'Neill said, yo, I didn't know that you have a wolf, as O'Neill got on his knees and was about to pet the wolf on his head, but he was about to, you know, to bite his head, as O'Neill said, sheesh, you need to, you know, teach him how to stop, you know, trying to eat people, as Izuku said, I'm working on it. Black, don't hurt people, all right? As, you know, Black just nod his head. And after that said, well, do you know where is class 1A? Because I was, you know, I was here from like 7 in the morning and I was just running around the, the whole freaking school and I don't really where to go. As Izuku said, I really don't know where to go either. And after that, the wolf is just tr start running away. As Izuku said, hey, c come back here, black. As Izuku start l running after him. O'Neill said, hey, don't run away from me. As they start running after the wolf. <clears throat> Izuku running after the wolf. O'Neill walking after Izuku. And after a couple of seconds, Izuku seeing the wolf just sitting in front of the door of one class 1A. As Izuku said, oh, thank you, Black. You are such a good boy. As he starts, you know, butting it on his head and rubbing his hair. As O'Neill said, yo, you really are, you have a very great, you know, wolf. But isn't your quirk is like negative power? Why? How is he, you know learning your words or something like that under your control as Izuku said nah I really don't know he's just you know acting so nice with me I just healed him in the forest you know using the same that healing touch that I used on you as O'Neill said oh that thing <laughs> I can understand why he's loving you so much and after that Izuku got into the, <clears throat> the class saying you know <clears throat> A couple of people, Katsuki Bakugo doesn't even, you know, talking with Izuku. After that, Izuku sitting, uh, you know, on his uh, desk, and the Black is just, you know, sitting by his side on the ground, and O'Neill sitting on his right. As after that, Aizawa just uh, stand up from under the desk saying, If you want, uh, shut the hell up. Sheesh, you got like 9 seconds just shut up, to shut up. What a stupid idiot you are. If you're gonna act like this, then how about you just get out of here? As, you know, the black starts barking on Aizawa. As Aizawa said, 
who the hell got a wolf into the school as Izuku raising his head said, I'm sorry, Mr. Aizawa. I got him here as Aizawa said, hmm, aren't you the kid that have the negative powers? You didn't tell us about any ability of you to control wolves. Is this wolf as part of your quirk or something? As Izuku said, um, um, as he's, you know, trying to find an excuse, but before he continue, black suddenly just turned into white. As Aizawa said, hmm, that answer my questions. Great. Everyone, just wear this, you know, gym uniforms and meet me outside. We will gonna do a quirk apprehension test. And no, I'm not gonna fucking introduce every, sec every single one of you to, to the to the others, alright? As Izuku seeing, looking at, you know, Black saying, What the hell? How did he do that? I didn't know that you can't do that. As, you know, uh, White suddenly turned into Black. As Izuku said, Well, that's kinda cool. And after that, they just start walking. Izuku got into the changing room. Kirishima seeing how muscular he is, he start talking with him and telling him how he have a very cool wolves. As Izuku told, you know, <clears throat> told Black to act, uh, to behave himself as not to eat anyone. As Kirishima start rubbing his hair and, you know, a couple of people in class 1A start rubbing, you know, Black hair except, uh, of course, Shoto, Ida, and Bakugo. After that, Izuku just hearing someone saying, Hey, everyone, look, I find a, you know, I find a little, as before he continued, Izuku immediately told, you know, Black to go at, uh, at, you know, the grape juice kid and to immediately scare him off as, you know, Black just getting closer into, you know, me, Maneda. Or, you know, Maneta. As after that, Maneta getting scared as he said, Please l get him away from me. As Izuku said, If you will gonna look through that hole, he will gonna eat you. And I'm not controlling him here. He doing all of this by himself. So, give him a, a promise that you won't look. As, you know, Maneta said, oh, Alright, alright, I won't look. As after that, Black just leave him. After that, they just meet outside. Aizawa telling them to... Well, the first place will gonna throw the, you know, the ball first. So, can I have Izuku Midoriya as Izuku come closer? Well, you know, just uh, Black still with him. As Bakugo said, Why the hell that villain taking the first place? I should have taken it. I should be the one that's throwing the ball first. As Aizawa said, no, he got the highest score in the entrance exam. So, he will gonna throw it first. As Buck getting angry saying, What? He got the high score? That's impossible. As Aizawa said, Kid, you shut up and let him throw the ball. <sighs> Alright, use your quirk. As Izuku said, Alright. And after that, Izuku turning his whole arm from his, you know, from his hand into his uh, shoulder into the negative mode. As he engulfed the, you know, the ball with negative powers and after that he throw it in the, into the sky. And... To be honest, guys, I really don't know what will happen if, ne you know, Mr. Negative engulfed a, p a ball with his negative power and just throw it. I'm gonna just say that Izuku got like, uh, <clears throat> let's just say, 3,000 or maybe like 2,000 meters, as Aizawa said, impressive. And after that, Buck getting angry. This, the, you know, the second uh, person is will gonna be, of course, O'Neill, because... And the train, you know, in the entrance exam, he was just corrupting some robots and use them to attack other robots and things like that. As O'Neill just didn't do much because he is not a physical part. He doesn't have a physical part of his quirk. Or you know what? I kinda have an idea. You know, O'Neill go on Oraka and told her, Oraka, can I, you know, do something? Could you please take this? As Uraka said, what is this? As O'Neill just said, I just need to put some of my blood on your, you know, him, skin. As Uraka said, what do you mean by this? As O'Neill said, could you please just do that for me? As Uraka being the nice girl she is, she just let, you know, O'Neill do that. As O'Neill put some blood on her, and after that, he, you know, said, you're not under my control, which, you know, cancel the, you know, the time limit of him making Uraka able to control himself, herself, but 
O'Neill will gonna still have Uraka quirk for like one hour. As O'Neill did this, he throw the ball, he got infinity, using Uraka quirk for the other, you know, parts of the, you know, training. He, in the end, he just thanks Uraka for that. But in the end, Izuku has got, you know, the, like the fifth place, because he wasn't using his negative power. If he used his full power, he would have, you know, take the first place easily. As after that, Aizawa said, All right, you're so good at this. But, Mineta, you're out of UA. Take your shit and leave. As Mineta starts crying and everything bleeding, but in the end, Aizawa being the cold-hearted he is, he just shake Mineta off and throw him away. After that, he, you know, O'Neill thanks Oraka for what she did to him, as Oraka telling him alright, and after that he go walking with Izuku. Kurishima coming closer into Izuku and O'Neill and, and said, Yo, Izuku, O'Neill, what are you gonna do after school? As Izuku said, I don't know, I'm normally going to the forest and train or sometime playing with Black. As, you know, Kurishima said, Yo, that's so manly of you, but how about we go into the mall and have some fun for the night? As, you know... O'Neill said, yeah, that's actually a good idea. What do you think, Izuku? As Izuku said, hmm, all right. I really doesn't have anything. What do you say, Black? As Black start jumping. As Izuku said, <laughs> you seem happy. Well, let's go. And this is when gonna leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what do you think about this part and what do you think will gonna happen the next part. Well, I have nothing more to say than Severed was here. I was sick